scenarios that you see come up with the, the questions all the time. And are, are you able to just kind of run through them uh, rather yeah. briefly, if, if possible? Yeah, so if you're a uh, tight in extension, tight in flexion, you want to do something that affects both gaps. So, you know, what affects the easiest way to think about it is the femur, you can indiv individualize extension and flexion. The tibia, whatever you do on that side is going to affect both. So if both are loose or both are tight, how will we do that? So if you're tight in extension, tight in flexion, you know, take more tibia and that'll loosen you up in both. Um, so then the next kind of scenario, scenario is uh, if you're loose in extension and loose in flexion, you want to tighten up both of those so you can add more poly, which is the easiest way. Let's say you're in a revision scenario and the company only makes the poly that it goes up to 20. Uh, so what's the next option? So companies have augments for the bottom of the tibia where you can add five or 10 millimeters to the tibia or base plate and you can downsize your poly. So if you're loose in both, you want to do something on the tibial side, the easiest is upside the poly for that or put augments under the tibial tray. Um, if you're tight in extension, and normal flexion. So what can we do to loosen up the extension gap? So if you're tight in extension, what's happening is you're, you have that flexion contracture and you're not getting out all the way to zero. Um, so you wanna take more distal femur. The distal femur is gonna affect the extension gap. You take more distal femur, that'll loosen you up in extension. Um, if you're normal extension and you're tight in flexion, so this is kind of, I would say this is probably the most common scenario. Um, if uh, that happens a lot. Um, so the easiest way to loosen up uh, your flexion space is you can cut more slope. Um, you can take the PCL. Uh, it depends what side you're tight on. You're usually not symmetrically tight. Usually it's one side or the other. So if it's on the medial side, you can do more of a medial release, take posterior medial um, capsule and corner. Um, if it's, uh, you could do that medial reduction osteotomy. We talked about if you're tight in normal and extension and tight inflection on the uh, lateral side, you know, popliteus um, is a, uh, if that's tight, if the knee is tight in flexion on the lateral side, you release popliteus, that'll open that up a little bit. Um, you can make sure there's no osteophytes over there. You can do, um, you can do some release in that uh, of a uh, posterior capsule, which may help uh, if you're tight on that lateral side, uh, some, more for the extension space, you can uh, pie, uh, pie crust the uh, IT band. But you know, I think the biggest things for being tight in flexions with tibial slope and the PCL um, recess those. If you're normal in extension, but you're, uh, uh, you're loose in flexion, um, you know, I would, for this one, I would build up the flexion space. So, yeah. you know, put in a, put in a poly upsize your poly so that'll tighten you up in both which would make you tight in extension and then you can take a little more distal femur so i would even that out i think that's that's the easiest way to deal with that one um you don't want to be loose in flexion so the biggest the best test to make sure you're not loose in uh, flexion put the knee in a figure four position if you have a post make sure the cam's not jumping the post make sure the knee's not dislocating um you don't want to leave the OR um, being super, super loose in flexion. Um, if you're loose in extension, but you're normal in flexion, um, you know, the option for this would be a couple things. So you can add on augments. You'll obviously have to use a revision type implant to do that, to build up your distal femur. Um, and then if you build up your distal femur, this will tighten you up in extension. The other trick which you can use is you can actually use cement augments. So if you don't mallet, if you get a good press fit, but you don't mallet the femur all the way down, you can actually do a kind of pseudo augment with one or two millimeters of uh, cement. So you know, cement's a great equalizer. You can basically do whatever you want with it. So you can, uh, let it sit just a little bit proud not too much you don't want a massive cement handle, but if you do one or two millimeters that's okay perfect i i think that was good i i mean you see these questions all the time and it's probably going to at least be one or two of them on 